I want to show you how to calculate the future value with different interest rates. Now we're all familiar with the standard future value equation. The future value in time period t equals the present value times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the teeth power. Now when you have different interest rates as I do in this table here 10 percent, 11 percent, etc. you can't use that because what interest rate would you use here? You're going to have to find the future value by multiplying um, the present value times 1 plus the first interest rate times 1 plus the second interest rate, etc., etc., times 1 plus the final interest rate. Now, that's easy enough to do in Excel. It's a little bit tedious, but unlike, unlike um, the financial calculator, which has a function that calculates the future value for one interest rate, you kind of have to do this by hand. Okay. But there is a function in Excel that will also do this. But let me show you how you do this longhand. It would simply be the PV, which is in cell D5, times 1 plus the first interest rate, which is in cell D8. So we get $110. In the second period, it would be the 110, which is in cell E8 times 1 plus the interest rate in year 2, which is in cell D9. And we can just copy this formula down because then it'll go take this and multiply it times 1 plus this interest rate. And if we do that, the final number here, okay, after the final interest is received, is 154.53. Well, it turns out there's actually a function in Excel that does this. And you can find functions in Excel by going up here to the Sigma and hitting the drop down menu. And you'll see a bunch of uh, several common ones, sum, average, number count. You can click on more functions and you get a whole bunch of different things here. Math and trig, statistical. We're interested in the financial ones. And if we scroll down there's one called FV Schedule. Now, if you don't know what that is, you can hit the Help function and it will explain this to you. It'll do the calculation for a bunch of different interest rates. So you can actually use the schedule and you can type the information in here, or I'm just going to do it myself. So I'm going to say FV Schedule. and then it asks for the principal amount, which is here, and the schedule of interest rates, and I can just highlight these since I already have them typed in, and hit enter, and I get exactly the same number. So really easy to do the calculation using this future value schedule. So if you're trying to figure out what the future value is with different interest rates, this is a great way to do it.